Uh, Eli Atty, let me, uh, let me ask you. Uh, the character of uh, Matt Santos in the West Wing, is it true that, uh, in which you were very instrumental, is it true that's partly based on Barack Obama? Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, the, the idea for the character uh, was not inspired by Barack Obama, but when, when the West Wing writers decided to introduce a Latino candidate for president, um, I had to write a couple big episodes um, introducing the character, and there really was no precedent. There was no um, a minority figure who had ever been a, a prominent, uh, you know, likely nominee of his party. And the only thing to really look to at that time was uh, uh, then State Senator Obama, who was just running for the United States Senate and had just given a, an electrifying speech at the Democratic National Convention. So I talked to his chief strategist, David Axelrod, and began to kind of shape the character, sort of a post-racial uh, 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 figure who wanted to, you know, really move beyond old categories and divisions. Uh, and I'm amazed that this election has played out in, in so many ways, similarly to our uh, election on the West Wing. We, we don't want to labor the point about life uh, imitating art a little too far, but that word transformational, which Colin Powell used about Barack Obama, that's right in your view, is it? Absolutely. I mean, I think and this is interesting, I think, in terms of international perception of President-elect Obama, which is that he is, is not just multiracial. I think he is genuinely post-racial. He's somebody who comes from such a mixed background um, and, and really belongs to no strict category. Um, and I think that's going to be very helpful in uh, trying to unite a very frayed Western coalition that I think President Bush has, has not... Uh, done any kind of a job in keeping together. I think we have a lot of uh, mending fences to do on the world stage. I, you know, I think this current administration has been virtually running a terrorist recruitment program just by its attempt to not even understand our adversaries and maybe why they hate us and why they're targeting us. And I think uh, a president like Obama will be strong on terrorism, but has shown uh, a, a real willingness to to reach beneath the surface and to try to understand why we're in the position we're in. Okay, and, thank you. And I think now, that his background will help.